Unravel the mystery. A surprise birthday request leaves a mother feeling hurt and confused. Tune in to uncover the unexpected twists in this emotional tale of family dynamics. But first, am I the butthole for jokingly telling my sister that she'll make a great housewife? Posted by Electronic Ice 20293. I, 33 year old male, have a younger sister, 25 year old female. Our parents are dangerous people, so as soon as I was able, I rented out a place so that my sister and I could have somewhere to live. We got out of there when I was 18 and she was 10, and I took care of her until she was able to go to college. She is now in graduate school, doing very well for herself. Basically, I am not the most well-organized guy. I mean, of course, I take my job seriously. I work as a paramedic, and I aspire to go to med school soon, and I am responsible for people's safety but my primary motivation is making a living and breaking the cycle. I don't put too much effort into things like looking presentable or cleaning around the house or whatever. I am too busy for that. So I admit that while my little sister was growing up, she was more often than not the one who washed the dishes and cleaned the floors. Even nowadays, she spends her money on nice clothes for me and whenever she visits my apartment, she scolds me as if I am a little kid and she cleans up the mess. It's kind of amusing. So last weekend, my sister visited me and once again, she rolled up her sleeves and started tidying up the place a little bit while we were chatting. While she was doing that, I jokingly told her that she would make a great housewife and that she should aim to find a job like a flight attendant or something where she could put her neat freak talents to use. My sister was sort of embarrassed when I said this and her face turned red. She went on this whole rant about how this wasn't what she was going to grad school for and then she entered my bedroom and freaked out when she saw the new clothes she bought for me just laid out all messy on the floor. It was enough that she even started crying. She was so exasperated and all she could say was you are supposed to be an adult. Am I the butthole? Please let us know what you think in the comments below. It seems unfair for the older brother to rely on his younger sister for household chores and then make a joke about her becoming a housewife. Perhaps they could have shared responsibilities more equally or discussed their expectations clearly. Ravywalk929 commented. You the butthole. 1. So she can tidy, most adults can do that. 2. That does not equate to being a housewife. It demeans your sister and housewives and everything they do by minimizing everything down to you, are good at cleaning therefore, housewife lols. 3. Why the f did you bring flight attendants into this? 4. Calling her a neat freak also seems mean in context. 5. It's not just one poor joke, it's a series of awful things to say about your sister and people in general. 6. Just because you can't get your crap together, doesn't make other people fair game to be the butt of your jokes. A comment from Tosser9212. It's kind of amusing. Not the butthole, you are 33, it stopped being amusing a few years ago. Buy your own clothes. Wash, dry, and store them properly. This isn't rocket science, and you should have learned it long ago. I can't imagine why you didn't. Oh wait, yes I can. You had a little housemaid doing it all for you while you were the breadwinner. Yee yee. You let a child clean up after you for years. They've changed and moved on, grown up, it's past time you did the same. You the butthole. Am I the butthole for refusing to purchase birthday cookies for my child? Posted by Tricius. My child is having a birthday. I asked what they wanted and they said cake, special chocolate cake. Last month I special ordered a chocolate cake from a local baker with their name and favorite cartoon characters on it. My husband knew I was doing this and approved. Last night I was finishing baking cupcakes, also my child's request, for a school celebration. Both my children gravitate towards savory, rather than sweet, foods, neither one has an aversion to desserts or anything. My husband walked in, and the first thing he said was, do you think we should buy some cookies for the birthday party, something our daughter will actually eat? And I was floored. I told him that was a strange and hurtful thing to say, since he knew in advance about the cake order and the cupcakes our child was bringing to school. I told him that hurt my feelings, because I was really excited about the cake and I made choices about it based on my kids' preferences. I pointed out that he could have said something about also wanting cookies any time in the last month, but that mentioning it less than 48 hours before the party and in the middle of my baking the cupcakes wasn't helpful. He had zero response and gave me the silent treatment, which also stung. He brought it up again this morning when I asked if we needed anything else for the party. He was surprised and miffed that I told him if he wanted cookies, he could go to the store, I would not be buying any cookies since I had purchased cake and ice cream and sent cupcakes to my child's school. Am I the butthole for not purchasing even just one cookie for my kid's birthday? It seems unusual for a husband to suggest buying cookies right before his child's birthday party, especially when he was aware of the cake order and the cupcakes being made. 
the timing and tone of his suggestion could have been more considerate. A comment from Enough Process in 7073. Not the butthole. If your husband thinks there should be cookies for a birthday party, that's legitimate. He can go buy birthday party cookies, like a big grown-up person. Something our daughter will actually eat, ahem. Okay. If he thinks the options provided will not be eaten, he can buy something else for the party. That comment in the middle of party prep makes him the butthole. Not you. Happy birthday wishes to your daughter. The cake sounds yummy. Forward Square Late 1879 commented. Not the butthole. This is not even about the cookies. This is about the fact that you have been putting time and effort into making your child's birthday special for weeks, only for him to waltz in at the last minute. If he had a different opinion on what treats were needed for the birthday, then he should have made that clear during the planning stage, not wait until things were already finished in progress. If he wanted to help at the last minute, he should have asked what task he could take off your plate, instead he just tried to add an additional task to your plate. Check out our playlist with all our videos. You can find it in the description box below. Would I be the butthole for hiring private investigator to find a strange daughter just to make sure she's safe? Posted by Adventurous Egon 1355. I, 64 year old male, completely blew my chances at ever having a relationship with my 34 year old female daughter. I understand that and expect no sympathy. Her mother and my soon to be ex wife is a narcissist, and like a cowardly idiot, I would just go along with whatever she wanted to keep the peace and unfairly blamed me my daughter for the chaos my soon-to-be ex caused. I am a shit heel for that I know. She went no contact with us, she became a prostitute, and I was still in the fog with narcissistic wife at the time I handled this completely the wrong way. I did what my wife wanted, told my daughter if she didn't immediately quit, resume contact with us and move home. We would turn her into the police, we live in the US, and her apartment for working out of her home. She of course went completely underground, moved out of state with no forwarding address and I suspect changed her name, cannot confirm this yet, because I've been completely unable to find her. I shamefully wrote her a scathing email on her birthday to her escort email two years ago, because my wife wouldn't stop harping, as it was the first birthday without any contact and her mother was going off the deep end. And I unfairly blamed her for this, and I admit I lashed out at her for this, which was completely wrong. She got an attorney to write a cease and a cis letter, and that was the last contact. I long overdue woke up and am in the process of filing for a divorce. I realize my daughter will never want to speak to me again, but because she became a prostitute I am afraid she'll get seriously hurt or worse. I wrote to the attorney to see if I could just check to see if she's alright, but the attorney said when she sent the cease and desist letter two years ago, she gave explicit instructions not to pass along any messages from me. Her ads don't appear to be on the internet anymore so I don't know if she's retired, god I hope so, or if something happened to her, I just want to make sure she's safe, which is why I want to hire a pie to find her. I absolutely won't contact or interfere in her life unless she appears to be in danger. Would I be the butthole? It's unfortunate that the father's misguided attempts to protect his family may have driven his daughter further away, and it raises questions about the role of blame and communication in such situations. Orj van der Beek commented, Another case of Reddit amnesia. It affects so many people who post here causing them to completely forget that they posted a different version of their story already. You posted two months ago, but were a different age, already divorced and had already used a pie to find your daughter. At least you don't have ball and back amnesia. That's the worst. Can you imagine what it's like to spend hours creating a beautiful ball and back display and proudly posting it online only to be told you'd already done that exact display before? A comment from Tossany1212. If you go anywhere near your daughter after all of this, you'd be adding more reprehensible behavior. Hire that pie and I hope she finds out and gets a peace bond restraining order. You don't deserve to know anything about your daughter at this point, she's already told you that. You just don't want to listen to what your daughter's told you as you've shown repeatedly in the past. You would be the butthole beyond measure. Am I the butthole for telling my husband he can't be a stay-at-home dad? Posted by Responsible Cow 8632. We're in our early 40s and been married for 16 years now. We own our home outright, purchased from my inheritance before we were together. We both have related college degrees and both worked for a while after we got married, but we decided together that I should stay at home and raise our children. He was making more than I was at that time and his career showed more promise, and I liked the idea of being with our kids all the time. We have four children now, 7, 10, 12, and 13. My husband is doing very very well in his career and I haven't gone back to work. The kids are still home all summer, school holidays, sick days, etc. and I don't feel like I'd make much money after being out of the workforce so long. 
I do some volunteer work with two local organizations, and I'm kind of hoping to get hired on at one of them at some point. Recently my husband is feeling stressed and burned out at his job and has told me he'd like to leave it. He's a partner at his firm and has worked very hard to get where he is. You can imagine I've also worked very hard taking care of all the childcare, cooking, cleaning, etc. while he put in those long hours. I reminded him how hard he's worked to get where he is now, but said if he's truly unhappy, he could look for some other kind of job and I could go to work to try and make up the difference in income between his current job and whatever it is he actually wants to do. He says he doesn't want to work at all, he wants to be the stay-at-home parent for a while. I immediately told him that won't work. That after 10 years out of the workplace, I'm not just going to apply somewhere and make enough money to single-handedly support a family of six. I said if he wanted me to support him and our kids, that's something he should have told me years ago while I was still relevant in my industry. I didn't say this, but I also find it annoying that he wants to become a stay-at-home parent now, when the kids don't need continuous help anymore, and the job has become pretty easy. Is it fair of me to say I'll contribute to the family's finances, but I will not provide the sole income? Or should trading roles be something I am more open to? It seems unfair for one partner to suddenly expect the other to become the primary breadwinner after years of being out of the workforce and having raised the children. However, it's important to consider the unique circumstances and potential solutions for this situation. Soggy Leadership 199 commented. As a parent and husband, unfortunately decisions can't just be about him. You are 1000% right that you do not have the same resources as him, experience, tenure in the field. That would be a major obstacle in supporting your family. Not to mention the economy and the job market are so abysmal that even more factors are out of your control. In my opinion, it's also super relevant that the toughest season of parenting is over. Your children are so much more self-sufficient that the work they need is nowhere near where it was as infants toddlers. Your solution was the right one. You are considering his mental health and happiness by offering to go back to work and supplement the income he would have in a different field. But I think he's ignorant and unfair if he still believes that an effective solution is to suddenly have you be the sole breadwinner. Jembel commented. Not the butthole, but I feel like you are not really hearing your husband when he says he's burnt out. OP replied to that. It could be resentment on my part there. I've been burned out too, burned out in waking up four and five times a night for months at a stretch, changing diapers, and having people clinging to me around the clock. A relative offered to keep them all for a weekend, but he declined, told her this is what I signed up for. If you like this content, please consider subscribing. We post new Reddit stories every single day. Check out our playlist with all our videos. You can find it in the description box below. Have a miavelous day, and see you in the next one.